The president's visit to the valley, by this time tomorrow, he will have wrapped up what is likely his last stop in the valley as commander in chief. Thank you for joining us. For Channel 5 News at 6, I'm Oscar Rodame. And I'm Dina Herrera Garza. Preparations are already underway for the president's arrival. We know flight restrictions are just hours away from taking effect. Channel 5's Christian Von Prising live at the McAllen Airport with the latest. Christian. Dina, the question today on people's minds is the crowds. And in the back of everyone's minds, what we saw in D.C. last week, the McAllen Airport is one of the areas we're expecting President Trump to go through that and, and the Harlingen Airport. That it's, uh, they set up flight restrictions here, and that's part of the security plan. As Monday as afternoon, plan, about 24 hours. reached out to local police as well. As far as the security plan, we've also reached out to police as well. Monday afternoon, about 24 hours before the president is set to arrive, McAllen police and crews are setting up barriers ahead of Trump's visit. I believe that people that are planning, that are in charge at this point, are seeking uh, intel from all agencies. This is Steve Romero, criminal justice lecturer and former federal police officer. He says preparations laid now are being set up strategically. They're going to be have enough personnel in place and also have backups ready so whenever things get bad, they're able to bring them in. Demonstrators are expected both for and against President Trump, as we saw during his last visit. Tomorrow will be a balance. Romero says police are schooled on the First Amendment and trained on how to use force when things get out of hand. In monitoring extremist groups, is there any intel out there that shows that individuals are coming to the area that are known to have been part of extremist groups? That's one of the most important things. The other thing is listening to that chatter, to that uh, online chatter amongst extremists. Do you think there's an additional level of precaution this week based on what we saw last week in D.C.? Oh, definitely. I believe there's going to be that heightened. It's going to be a heightened awareness. Preparation ahead of the president's visit as he nears his last week in office. Hidalgo County Judge Richard Cortez saying passions are running dangerously high. That if somebody wants to protest or give a different opinion, if you do it respectfully, you do it within the confines uh, of the law and, and the proper you know, processes. Uh, I think that's what makes America great. That's what's, what's good about America, that, that we can disagree uh, without being disagreeable. The judge focusing right now on COVID, saying people of Hidalgo County have a common enemy to remember. So I ask everybody that they're welcome here, but please, please uh, take the necessary precautions where facial covering. The judge hoping for a peaceful outcome and Omero saying after D.C. last week, police here will be thinking about showing their presence to the public and making arrests on the spot if something happens. That show of force is also going to deter people from saying, you know what, I'm not going to be able to get away with this and I will face consequences. As we expect the arrival of President Trump tomorrow. And as we were telling you, Flight restrictions will take effect tomorrow afternoon over the McAllen Airport where I am as well as the Harlingen Airport. We're expecting President Trump will be traveling between those two airports. Those are going to be large areas with no aircraft allowed other than those that are associated with the event. As far as Judge Cortez, he's also very concerned about COVID as you heard there. He talked to us saying that he was expecting some people to come in from out of town. He's also concerned about crowds, local crowds gathering here as well, concerned about the spread of COVID. I asked him about COVID gatherings rules and his reminder, gatherings of more than 10 people, even if they're outdoors, they're still not allowed. And he says those are unlawful and he left it at that. Reporting live, Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News.